do your reading for May. The very first card that you got is from Pan, talking about fertility. This is about timing. The time is now. The energies, everything about your life <laughs> feels fertile to birth something new. The time is now. You have, I don't know, six cards talking about time. <laughs> the time is now. It's perfect timing. Go now. Time, time, time. The time is now. This being your first card is foundational to the whole reading. The very next card that you get is from St. Germain talking about working your magic. This card often has to do with the, the working of magic meaning taking what's negative and finding the good. Creating the positive out of a negative. For you guys in this reading, that's this is all about just working your magic, your skills, your talents, your gifts, working them. In other words, creating what you were designed to create, right? It's like all of us are born with gifts and talents and abilities and purpose. And this card for you guys in May coming up here is about working that magic, pursuing your dreams, pursuing your ideas, uh, working it, like take action on your ideas now. Now's the time. That's what they're saying. So the energy of May is 100% supporting your fulfilling your purpose, your destiny, uh, using your gifts and any ideas that you get regarding your career, your home life, everything about your life. It's overall, generally, everything. The time is now. <laughs> the time is now for your freedom of expression. This is another card that sometimes is referring to freedom from something negative. This is nothing negative in your reading whatsoever. <laughs> this is about the feeling of freedom when you're creating what is so lined up for you that to express yourself feels just like freedom. The freedom of actually taking steps towards creating what you are designed to create. Perfect timing here in May. Time to go. <laughs> I mean, look at this. <laughs> it just keeps going. It's time. Now is the time. Spirit is with you, but you know what? The energies are with you, that it's perfect timing to do this. Um, the, the, this is kind of coming out for many, many uh, signs this month, but yours is really powerful about taking action. Now is the time to take action to create what you've always wanted to create. Everything about the energy is the wind behind your back pushing you to do this and supporting you in many, many ways. Spirit is with you. You're going to be having all kinds of ideas, motivation. Now's the time. This is your first card. It's like you're ready. So when this card came out, you're ready. It's as if you're in the ninth month of pregnancy and it's time. And not only that, but you're ready. It's like you've done all the preparations. You've done all your homework. You've... Um, you're prepared yourself for the birth. <laughs> You're ready. You are ready. So now it's time to work that magic. Start taking action on your ideas. It's the perfect time. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with spirit by your side. Do not delay, do not procrastinate, you're ready. <laughs> Everything and everyone is on your side, <laughs> supporting your positive outcome. And this is your card that's top and center.
very powerful. Cancer, it's time. Go for it. How exciting. Now for some of you, if this resonates, the sun sets and rises each day. Time to go. This could mean for some of you that there is situations that it's just time to move on from, but it feels so easy to do. This feels like maybe for some of you, you've already done this. Letting go of the past, letting go of relationships that weren't serving you. It almost feels like this, this just feels like you're way at that launching point already. You've said your goodbyes, you've packed your bag, He's going, right? He's already fl he's already flying. That's what it feels like. Uh, this card is speaking to that, you know, some friendships, um, you know, come for a time and then their time is up. Some relationships come for a time for lessons learned and then the time is up. Same with careers, right? Same with lots of things in your life. And so what this card with the words on it speaks to is that there's a time and uh, there's, you know, the sun rises and it sets and then it rises again and you guys are on the next rise <laughs> and he's already flying. So as far as, you know, goodbyes to the old, it feels very much like you've already done that and it's just now it's time to take actions towards what you're wanting feels like you guys, many of you, are in a really good place. If this resonates. If you are still kind of in that place, you know, get encouraged. It's still, we're still in April, uh, so it feels like by the time May rolls around, this will be more accepted for many of you. Uh, could be that this reading alone is hopefully inspires you to go, yeah, you know, okay. Um, you might have been holding on to something because it's familiar or comfortable. It's time to go. It's time to go to the next phase because it's, it's really exciting. You're ready. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. <laughs> do what you love. It's time to do what you love. We're getting aerial with all the pink creativity. It's a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. Working with others in a cooperative manner could be for some of you, but what this one mainly is about is that it's time. It's a time, again, there's that time again, of great personal growth, and it's time to do what you love doing, taking action with what you absolutely love doing. <laughs> and as you're creating and working with others, you'll be getting ideas, uh, spirits on your side, everything, everyone, everything, the energies are all on your side. And this card is coming up to say that there's gonna be some claircognizance happening. So you may, if you get ideas, you can trust them. Ideas, this is coming up right next to your doing what you love. Notice we got the doing and it's the claircognizance, the mental and the doing. That's what your reading is very much about this month. Doing what you love. So that's where the heart comes in and then it just goes right up to your head. Time to take actions. You're going to be getting ideas that you can trust. It's time to do. Taking action. Doing what you love doing. It's time. It's time. Spirit has a plan. This one comes up, the koala comes up to say, Spirit has a plan. And it is the plan of sort of your destiny. This is why the, the word destiny came out as I was speaking, I think, in the be very beginning of the reading. This is like, your, this is your destiny kind of thing. And so it has that level of energy around the freedom feeling because you're so lined up and that it's time to working your magic has to do with um, the plan for your life, your destiny. It's time. How exciting is that? That's so exciting. <laughs> As you're working on these ideas, it's time to move quickly. Here we have time again and movement, taking action. Look at this, this is the knight of Michael on the horse going, taking 
action. This horse too is like running <laughs> to take action. It's time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion. Logic over emotion. Thinking. Claircognizance. Okay? It's time to move. Time to start taking actions. And then Archangel Michael comes in. The King of Michael comes in to tell you wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity. A situation may come up that calls for honest and open communication. Look how commanding he is. Right? He knows what he's doing. Wisdom. <clears throat> wisdom and objectivity so this isn't so much heartfelt this isn't this this is the first reading I've seen in a long time that doesn't really tap into intuition now's the time for the mental for you guys very mental wisdom claircognizance intelligence integrity taking action it's like it's time to get from the heart following your heart to the mind and the doing that's where that's where we are. It looks like there might be some decisions that want to be made. We have the two of Michael, uh, which is sort of decisions. We have two horses here, kind of facing each other, a little bit like we got a decision to make. And he's saying, you know, that it will be better once a decision's made. Over analyzing a problem, find a compromise. Over analyzing a problem can stall you. Uh, that could be what stalls you. So, <clears throat> sometimes uh, working, you know, working and creativity can be an interesting thing. So, pay attention to the ideas that you get. And this idea that overanalyzing could come from, you know, it could. It could come from a fear of success. If any of you are having a fear of success, that might be for some of you, what this freedom is about, uh, because this is really powerful energy. It's like, but you're ready. Is the thing is that you're ready. You've been through, you know, you've been through some things. You've learned a lot, right? This is about wisdom. You have the wisdom. In other words, not just not just the knowledge, but the life experience. You're ready. They keep saying that. You're ready. And in the same way that when you give birth, <laughs> for those of you who have children, you know what I'm talking about. But when you have children, you know, especially your first one, right, your first one, and you get pregnant, and then you make all the plans, and you prepare, right, the nesting phase. <laughs> you prepare, you prepare. And then you, you feel like you're ready, and then there's going to be, there's going to definitely be those times it's like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, right? I haven't done this before, or I don't know what to expect, and there's, there's some fear that, that comes up, but you, there's no stopping it, right? There's no stopping it. There's a baby, and that baby's coming. <laughs> and now this one wants to come back. God has a plan. So as fearful as that might be when that baby comes, it's like, oh my gosh, I don't have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> now you've got a baby in your arms, but you've maybe never done this before. You, you know, all the preparing in the world for, you know, the, the crib and the, and the uh, diaper genie. <laughs> you know, but, but, you know, still, there's only so much preparation you can do until it actually comes. If you're feeling any of that, just know that it's coming. It's coming anyway. But you're ready. It's like your life has a plan and now's the time for you to start taking action on your what you are designed to do. You're going to be okay. If there's any fears, you know, this is about freedom from fear. Freedom from fear of success. It's coming anyway. So be mindful of the ideas that you get in your head and whenever you have some kind of decision that needs to be made, be mindful that you don't get stuck too long in overanalyzing. Alright? So if you have a decision to make, speak to your guidance or be mindful that any ideas you get are coming from spirit and your own higher self as well and make a decision. Making a decision will help, help you continue and move forward. It's very exciting. <laughs>
It's very, very exciting. It, it is that same feeling of excitement just before the baby comes. And then they're inviting you to start taking actions. Start taking actions to bring that, bring that into the world. Your ideas, your creativity, give birth. Time to give birth <laughs> to your ideas, your destiny. There will be reasons to celebrate. <laughs> It is reason to celebrate. A community of friends, happy announcements, <laughs> right? Relationships and children. I mean, this is this is like giving birth for you guys. Some of you, some of you Cancerians will be giving birth. It is very exciting. Like some of you will give it, be giving actual birth to children in May. Congratulations. <laughs> It's very exciting. You are ready. You'll be all right. Um, reasons to celebrate, leaning on friends, having some great conversations, to keep in communications open with those you love and those who love you, right? You've got support every which way. Everyone, this one wants to come back. Everyone on your side, that's what you want in your circle, in your circle of friends. You can manifest the life you want. Can you believe this? It just keeps coming, you guys. <laughs> Everything about your reading is fantastic. You can manifest the life that you want. You are the magician. Work your magic. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. This is also coming up. Check it out right underneath. Work your magic. You are the magician. Work your magic, manifesting your life, manifest the life that you want. You can work your magic. This is about successful beginnings. The time is now and you're ready. I keep saying that. I keep saying that. <laughs> Turn that fear into excitement. Turn that fear into excitement and just let yourself shine. This is your final card. <laughs> just let yourself shine. This is your final card. Successful beginnings. Work your magic, you will be successful. Because it's your destiny. This is, this is what you're made for, Cancer. So go for it. Let yourself shine. How very exciting. If I were you guys, I would watch this video like 10 times. <laughs> it's all good. Just everything about it is good. And now's the time. It's perfect timing. Get excited. Let yourself get excited and start taking action. Work that magic and start manifesting the life that you want. Everything's on your side. Have a great May. I love you guys. Take really good care of yourselves. Till next time, we'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.